What is up guys? Welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you guys exactly how to meal prep if you don't really necessarily have the time to just kind of stand around and mess with it. Um, I've been employing this a lot. I'm a busy dude and I have a lot of people that ask me uh, when I make meal plans for people. I always put like my preferred method of cooking chicken is in a crock pot. So I have a crock pot and a rice cooker here. This really takes a lot of the um, a lot of the time out of prep. You can throw your stuff in here, set it, forget it, go do whatever you gotta do, come back and it's done. So I've made a video like this before showcasing this, but now that I have more, more followers and more subscribers, I think that this is some beneficial information you might not have got from me. So let me show you exactly how I do it. This is great for meal prep, you guys will love it. So what we're gonna be prepping today is I went ahead and I got some chicken breast. So we have here, this is about five, four pounds of chicken breast here. So we're gonna be cooking this in the crock pot. I got some white rice. This is just a uh, plain old white rice I got in a container. We got some red potatoes. So the goal with this is gonna be to get the chicken in the crock pot, get it to start cooking. Then we're gonna have the rice cooking in the rice cooker and then we're gonna have the potatoes steaming because this rice cooker has a steaming tray as well. And what we do is the rice will cook in the bottom and it'll cook up and steam the potatoes at the same time. So really like we're getting a lot of stuff cooked by just putting it in there and walking away from it. So. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna trim this chicken up and then uh, we're gonna start kinda putting things through the motions and I'll show you guys exactly how I do this. So you don't necessarily have to trim your chicken first, but if you don't, you're going to, um, I like to trim it because it takes the fat off of it, so you're lowering the fat content of your chicken as much as possible. Not that there's a lot in it anyways, but you're removing almost all of the fat. And then you don't have to worry about eating your chicken later and coming on like a gristly nasty piece or a bone or something like that. If you go ahead and just trim it all in the beginning, which is what I recommend to do, you can uh, eliminate a lot of that hassle. So chicken breast here, you can tell the pieces you gotta trim because they're gonna be the nasty white pieces here. So typically I'll come in and we're gonna do it over the trash can here. Come in and we'll just get some of these gross pieces off. And typically they're just around the outside. This doesn't take very long to do. Go in, get that, and then we'll have like this guy pull it to the side. Sorry if this is grossing some of you out, but this is what you gotta do. And then get that piece off. Boom, right? So this one's trimmed and done. So we're gonna go through the rest of this packet and trim all of these. And the reason that a lot of uh, people opt for chicken as their main meat is because this stuff is so inexpensive. $1.99 a pound, that is way cheaper than you're gonna get any other protein right now. So I recommend, uh, I mean everybody likes chicken, right? So I usually recommend if you're gonna cook in bulk, chicken is the most cost effective way to do it. Anybody can afford chicken, pure protein. If you trim the fat, you're not getting a lot of extra macros from it either, so real good stuff. The only downside is, you do gotta trim it, but I think that's a small price to pay to save ultimately like three to four dollars on the pound for protein. So we got our chicken trimmed, it's ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and throw the rice in the rice cooker. Uh, I think we're gonna do about four cups of rice. So we'll throw, I measure all my rice cooked um, after it's been cooked, so technically like I'm not really measuring it now, I'm just throwing four cups in, because regardless I'm gonna measure it once it's cooked anyways. I feel like that's the most accurate way to do it, because you don't wanna like, if you know you're prepping for five meals, you can only cook like three quarter cups of rice. I just think it's a pain in the butt. I weigh and measure everything cooked. It's just way easier that way. And keep in mind with a rice cooker, the amount of water, so I got four cups of rice in here. The amount of water you use, you wanna use twice the amount of water as you did rice. So if I have four cups of rice, I need eight cups of water in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some water and fill this up and I'll be right back. All right, final cup of water here. So that's eight cups of water. That is good. Now, so this is pretty much done. Um, if you have any seasonings or anything you want, you can add them in. I like my white rice plain, I'll add seasonings later. So we're gonna go ahead, that's good. Put the steam tray in, and I'm gonna open up some of these potatoes here. So we got some red potatoes. Put this guy in here. And we're, what we're gonna do is just load this steam tray up with potatoes. Oop. And then once we get all these in here, so we can probably fit a couple more, because the goal of this is to cook as much as we can. Now, I would have normally prepped more chicken with this, but um, I already have a ton of it already prepped in my fridge, and this is like a demonstration. So you can do it in a crock pot up to like 15, 20 pounds at a time, and then freeze all the stuff you're not using. So you can, you can have a huge cooking session and have enough food to last you for weeks, really, as long as you don't get burned out on chicken. So we put those in there, so that's good. So we close that lid. And we're just not gonna mess with that for now. We're gonna finish the chicken up. Now we're gonna go ahead and season the chicken. Um, I don't use anything crazy. I just use lemon and pepper seasoning and some seasoned salt. Now, a lot of people might um, not want that sodium. If you're drinking your water, you're getting a gallon, gallon, half of the water in a day, um, this sodium isn't gonna hurt you. There's like, 
there's like three times your daily allotment of sodium in a Big Mac. So if you're eating clean and you're using some stuff like this, it's not gonna hurt you at all. So I just like to kind of take this and kind of put it on the pieces. Like I said, nothing too extravagant. We're just getting these nice and seasoned. You don't even have to do this. You can season them after the fact if you want. But this is kind of how I prefer to do it. Because if you put them all in the crock pot and try to add these seasonings, they're just gonna sit on top and not necessarily on each piece. And there we go. These are seasoned. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna place these in the crock pot. Evenly sort them out. You just kind of stack them. If you have more than just one layer, you just kind of stack them on top of each other. And there we go. That's that. Let me wash my hands real quick. I'm gonna come back and show you the exact settings we're gonna use and then uh, we'll get these guys started. So we got everything in their respective crock pot or rice cooker. Now when you're cooking chicken in a uh, crock pot, eight hours on low or four hours on high will cook your chicken. So if I know that I need to go, let's say go to the gym, come home, shower, do a little bit of work and then I wanna eat, I'll just set it for four hours on high. But I think it tastes better if you do eight hours on low, but regardless, they're both, they're both fine. Um, so I'm just gonna do this on four for the sake of this video, that way we're not just twiddling our thumbs waiting on this to finish so we can show you the end result. Um, and then your rice cooker, typically white rice is gonna take about 50 minutes to cook in a rice cooker. So that's gonna cook the rice and steam the potatoes too. Um, both of these have keep warm functions. So when you're buying a crock pot or a rice cooker, make sure it has a keep warm function. I think it's like $5 more per device to get that. But what it'll do is once it's done cooking, it'll just turn the temperature down and keep it warm. And then for like up to eight hours, you don't gotta mess with it. So like, you know, if I set this for four, right? And this is gonna cook in an hour, it'll keep both of them warm for up to like, you know, 10, 11, 12 hours. So I can literally, this is perfect if you have to go to school, go to work, you got obligations and you wanna start your prep first thing in the morning and then finish it when you get home. And um, super easy guys, like I said, this saves my life right now. I am extremely slammed in all aspects of my life. So having this style of prep really, really keeps me on point and keeps me good. I don't gotta, you know, work all day and then like, crap, I gotta cook and it's two hours slaving over a stove. So what we're gonna do is, move this in here all I had to hit was one button so that's on four hours here and um, it'll cook down for four hours and once that goes off it'll bump over to the keep warm function to keep it good so it's cooking and then the rice cooker we're just gonna hit the power button once click white rice and that's it so really this is so easy so these are gonna cook and we're gonna go do whatever we want to do and then we're gonna come back later and check on these and they're gonna be done so uh, yeah, we will see you guys here in about four hours to uh, finish up this video. So we just got back from going to the gym and doing some other stuff. So if you look here at these, you can see that the keep warm light is on, so it's finished cooking. And then we also have on here, the keep warm light is on as well. So this lets me know it's been keeping warm for about two hours now. So these are done. Let's see what this chicken looks like. Watch that steam in there, bingo completely finished and you can see the fat that's cooked off of it kind of sitting in the bottom which is another thing I like about the crock pot so that's good and then if we come around here to the rice cooker let's see if I can't move it a little closer let's see how we're doing here so these potatoes are all steamed yep let me take this out voila all that rice so that easy so now what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna get my food scale I'm gonna weigh out some meals I actually got some new meal prep containers. I had a company reach out to me, Miscellaneous Home, and uh, they asked if I wanted some free meal prep containers, and I said yeah, so I trashed all my old ones, and I've been using these, and I actually really like them. They are very inexpensive, so they're very cheap. You can get a lot of them for not a lot of money, and um, they're, they work great. So I don't think when you get a meal prep container, you need to go all out and get anything crazy, because if you're anything like me, I don't wanna have to worry about taking a meal prep container to someone's house losing it or misplacing it and being out like ten dollars for a container i think there's these are literally like 50 cents or something like that i don't know they're they're not very expensive so there's a link in my description if you want to get these containers that i use i'm telling you they're very cheap um click the link i also have a uh, discount offer code i don't even know what it is i gotta put it in there too so um, if you get some of these go ahead i don't make any commission or anything off of these i just they sent me these for free and be honest with you guys they work well for me so if you wanna grab me some, description is in my bio. Or link is in my bio, my description is in the link of the bio. Description in the link of the bio. <laughs> uh, something like that, all right? 
Still weighing everything out because we want to make sure it is fitting our goals. Like I said, if you're not weighing your food out, you really need to. I know it's uh, I know it can feel like a hassle at times, but if you want to be 100% on point, this is what you got to do. You got to weigh your food out. We're putting about 100 grams of rice in these cooked. Say, so I go by grams. It's a universal form of measurement, and you are so close when you're spot on. Bingo. Right there, 100 grams. So yeah, if you're not using a food scale, you can get a really cheap one. I think I got this one on Amazon for like 15 bucks. So invest in a food scale, it'll make all this so much easier. You know exactly how many macronutrients and how many calories you consume daily with a food scale. So I'm gonna finish weighing all these out. You probably don't wanna watch that. And I'll be back once these are all filled. You can kind of see uh, what the end result is. So we went ahead too, and we had some potatoes. So we got the potatoes weighed out as well. We're gonna take some chicken. See here, so bring that back to zero. So we're zero grams on that. And then we'll go, we want about eight ounces of chicken. So that is gonna be 224 grams of chicken. So let's see where we're at. 154, 181, 205, really close. You don't gotta be exactly spot on. I could probably quit at 205, but I like to be pretty precise. Makes me feel better. 211, we're gonna stop at 211. So that's good for us. So here we go, this is a finished meal, weighed out portion, we got potatoes and chicken. Now, as you guys know, I steam bag all my uh, vegetables, so typically the same day, because I think veggies, you don't really want to leave them sitting for too long. You can, but you don't want to, um, if you want them to taste the best. But I steam bag mine like in the morning, just get them out of the way and add them to my meals as I go. But that steam tray, if you didn't want to cook potatoes, you can put veggies in that steam tray and just steam your veggies out. So that's an option too, for vegetables, if you want to do it that way. But as you can see, not bad containers though, huh? Not bad containers though at all. They are dishwasher safe and good to go. So like I said, they don't pay me or anything. They just sent me some free ones for me to try them out. And I'm just one of those people that if something is a good product and I've been using it, I will tell you about it. So um, like I said, I have a link in my description if you wanna grab some of these guys. Like I said, very, very cost effective and they work great. So it is really this easy guys to prep in bulk, not have to stand there and slave over it and get your food done and prepped. Like I said, I'm a busy guy and this is my preferred way to prep now because I can just knock out a ton of food at one time. Typically I'll do, you see the amount of chicken I did, typically I'll do like two to three times that and then freeze my extras and I'll make food for a week and a half. So the only things I have to prep for the day are like my little breakfast or maybe like a protein shake or some oatmeal and that's it. So it does not have to be difficult. Prep does not have to be at all. So many people get so caught up that you know, oh man, I can't, you're, all you ever do is cook. And I'm like, well, not really. It doesn't have to be like that. No matter what the problem is, there's always a solution. Regardless of whether it's cooking, regardless of whether it's any other issue you have in your life. And for every problem, there's always a solution. So Google it, you know, Google's a powerful tool. That's what I do. If I don't know how to do something, I Google it. And I learned a lot that way. So anyways, guys, I am out of here. I'm going to finish getting this sorted and weighed out and all that stuff. Thank you for watching my video. And like I said, I know I have a video similar to this on my channel. But that was like one of the first meal prep videos I ever did. I didn't really have a following then. So I feel like this is awesome information that can benefit a lot of you guys and really uh, help you on the track to losing weight or gaining muscle, whatever your goals may be. Where nutrition's involved, this is a great tool. So you guys have a great day and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for all the support as always. See you guys.